After watching the Crow 2024 trailer, there are three major issues with this trailer that I find and three lines that stuck out like a sore thumb. Put it on visual. Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Rages. I'm Danny Alex. I'm a screenwriter here in the city of perpetual decline, Los Angeles. So I was 26 years old when The Crow was released in 1994, so I remember it well, and I'm not going to get into the obvious things about The Crow 2024 that almost every YouTuber has already talked about. Yeah, a picture says a thousand words, and there's been plenty said about this picture of Bill Skarsgård, his version of Eric Draven. But there are three other, more obvious problems about this movie that the trailer shows us, and three lines that tell us everything we need to know that makes this trailer they're a harbinger for why this movie will be a massive flop and become the fourth failed remake of this movie franchise. The first thing, it comes across as revisionist movie making, and there is no way to win the hearts and minds of an audience that sees Brandon Lee as the de facto iconic Eric Draven and The Crow. The producers and director call this a reboot, an adaptation of the comic and not a remake of the original 1994 movie. Sorry guys, it's a remake and it's a mistake. It would have come across as brilliant if they would have developed a whole new character and not used Eric Draven as the main protagonist. This will not help Bill Skarsgård and he should have only taken this role if the main character was a completely different person with his own story and reasons for becoming the Crow. The second major issue, and this is a big one, the relationship between Bill Skarsgård and FKA Twigs feels contrived and forced as the trailer goes out of its way to convince us that these two people love each other. And here's the major problem about all of this. We already have in our own minds who Eric Draven and Shelley Webster are, and we like it. We relate to them and identify with these two people who were in love and the story that was told about them in the 1994 movie. The Crow 2024 tries to remake and change that image we already have of Eric and Shelley. When someone tries to remake an iconic movie and redesign what is already perfect, in our minds, the audience will not take it very well. We will reject it because you are trying to supplant, redesign, remake the original two people that this movie was about. The people we cared for and replace them with an inadequate copy of two other people. The third major issue is the dialogue and there are three specific lines that tells you everything about this movie and the mindset the writers and director had going into it. It starts with the very first line we hear in this trailer that comes from Eric Draven's mouth. What's the first thing you liked about me? I mean, it's like saying, enough about me, let's talk about you. What do you think about me? You don't build a character's likability having him go around asking people, hey, what do you think about me? We should learn about these two characters naturally, why they love each other, who they are, their dreams, their nightmares, their hopes. This dialogue is so bad and a huge reveal as to why this movie is going to be a major flop. The second line is the one that destroys the mystery and curiosity we feel towards who and what Eric Draven is. At the midpoint of the trailer, they come right out and state the obvious. You were given the power of a god. Now, there is nothing more on the nose and mystery killing than telling the audience that the protagonist has the power of the most powerful entity our minds can think of. In the original 1994, The Crow never does the screenplay reveal or tell the audience exactly what The Crow's powers are. In fact, the movie often suggests vulnerability, regardless whether Eric Draven was invincible or not. He appeared vulnerable at times, which created mystery in our minds and with it, tension and stakes that Eric Draven could be killed and fail in his attempt to get his revenge. Telling us our main character has the power of a god? I mean... Most illogical. And the third line that tells us that this movie will be a boring, straightforward cookie cutter? I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. Sound familiar? I'll kill them. I'll kill them all. The difference is that the trailer just told us Eric Draven is a god. John Wick is just a guy like you and me. We are told that Eric Draven will kill every single one of them, which is followed by a series of clips showing him being shot endlessly without consequence. 
Never are we shown or teased that he's possibly vulnerable. The entire story premise comes across as an over-the-top bloodbath where Eric Draven happily takes an endless number of bullets. He's an unstoppable god, you see, and the trailer wants to show us how badass he is with virtually zero tension and stakes. Everything is on the nose. There is zero subtext. The dialogue is simple and tells us the obvious instead of letting us discover who Eric Draven is and showing us through his actions what we can expect so that there can be some serious stakes and tension as he seeks his revenge. The producers and director of The Crow 2024 are trying to use the iconic portrayal Brandon Lee did of Eric Draven and use its intellectual property, Member Berries, to sell their movie. The only reason you use the exact same characters and names is to use what was done before and to supplant it by what they are trying to do with this new remake. And I'll guarantee you, the fans won't accept it. The Crow 2024 is a massive miscalculation and mistake. If you like what you heard, I thank you for watching and subscribe to Pot Rages if you want to hear more or smash the like button. It helps the channel a lot. And if you didn't like what you heard, well, I guess smash the dislike button, I guess. And I will see you in our next video. Cheers.